guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at find unique binary string which is from lead code number 1980 let's now look at the problem statement given an array of string nums containing n unique binary strings each of length n return a binary string of length n that does not appear in nums if there are multiple answers you may return any of them if you look at the example here then you can just make out that i mean the entire size of nums will be n you can find nums dot size and it will be n now each of the string length is also n right if you take n slots and if you ask yourself about creating all possible strings then each of the position will have two options either you can place 0 or 1 0 or 1 right you can do it by recursion or with bfs as well so the total number of possibilities you will get is 2 to the power of n if you have n slots but in this case you just have n unique binary string which is present in the nums and your goal is to find out uh, one string which is not present in this uh, nums array right simply so how many strings you will end up creating by the end you will end up creating maximum n plus one strings because even if all the n strings matches but the n plus one it string will definitely not match if you are generating all the numbers uniquely so this will uh, take very less time to work even if you do dfs or bfs now i'll show you the calculations in a while but let's look at the n value it is going from only 1 to 16 so even if you had done 2 to the power 16 algorithm that will be very less it will be 64 times of 10 to the power of 3 which is only 6.4 times of 10 to the power 4 which is way below your 10 to the power 8 isn't it so that is also going to pass within one second but this algorithm will not take 2 to the power n time because we do not have to create all possible strings right now all the string of nums are unique now let's look at an observation here if let's say the n value is 3 that means you will have three strings exactly in the nums array and these should be avoided let's say these are triple zero 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 one and one one zero now what you can do is you can lexicographically create all the numbers in an increasing order saying that i'll create zero 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 then i'll create zero zero one and keep checking if it is present in the nums array as soon as you find the number which is not present in the nums array you can simply return it so i'm saying that if n is the number of uh, strings that you are present in the nums array then you will end up finding that maybe the first n unique numbers are present in the nums array and the n plus one th number will not be present definitely and that will be your answer so in the worst case you just have to create n plus one string and that is why you will have to create only order of n number of string using recursion but how much time and space will it take if you generate n number of string each of the string is also having n length right so the total number of characters that you have will be order of n square which is number of string into each string length and that will be your time complexity because when you write the recursion tree diagram then each of the character will be actually uh, counted for one depth in the recursion which i will be showing you in this case your goal is to return any string of length n which is not already present in nums and there will be multiple options for this so you can return any of them so what i will do is i will be trying to create lexicographically increasing number and i will just try to compare with the nums array now it is better that you keep this into a set so that it is easier uh, to do lookup and matchups right you can keep it in a hash table too but if i had a lot of string then maybe a try will be a good approach where i will be saving all my corpus so that i can just check in a in a faster runtime instead of using a set but since the number of strings are small i'll be going with the set try will be a overkill for this problem so no need to apply this now let's say that we are given three strings i can find nums dot size and i determined that n value equals to three and these are the strings which are mentioned now if you imagine a recursion tree diagram in this case since n length is three we have three positions to be filled and each of these positions can be filled with zero or one so i can take a resultant string and initially at the first position i can either place a zero or one so let's place a zero and if you place a zero your string becomes zero here now at position number one you can place a zero or one so let's place a zero and you will reach to position two with with double zero now at third position you can place zero or one so let's place a zero you will reach to triple zero as soon as your length of the result is actually equals to n then that means you have formed a valid string and now you need to just check it into the set if it is present and if it is present then just return false that means you are not able to generate the 
unique string that is not present in the nums right now since you have tried it with zero pop it off and replace it with one if you do that you go to zero zero one now you check it into the set it is again present so if it is present return a false value again and again you pop it off and since you have tried both the options you return back to this one now at this one position number one you have tried with zero so let's try it with one and if you again do that then you will reach to position two with the value zero one again at the next position you can either choose to place zero or one so if you place a zero here you reach here at zero one zero and check it in the set it is present right so you will return a false value now you replace it with one and try the other option out so it will be zero one one and in this case yes zero one one is not present so this will be returning a true so if you get any one true then you will be just simply returning a true and if you get at least one true like from the false and true then you will be returning a true and this will be returning a true so whatever is saved in the result it will be a global variable let's say or pass by reference so whatever is saved in the result that will be your answer and and it will be 011 okay so 011 can be returned and you can see that i have not generated more than n plus 1 string in the worst case you will be just generating n plus 1 string and all the rest of the tree will be actually pruned out or you can say trimmed out right so we have also applied pruning and this problem has much lower complexity than 2 to the power n okay it is simply similar to order of n now in this case the depth of recursion is order of n right okay n is the call stack size but uh, the number of characters in each string is n and there are n number of uh, strings so you will consume n square where you say that one character consumes one space so this is your space complexity which is order of n square right space complexity and we already know about the time complexity that it is also order of n square right so having known both this uh, you can say that time complexity is n square space complexity n square let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code let's look at the driver function find different binary string where you are given the nums array and finding the n value then pushing every string into the set okay so this set is number set now I'm taking a current string which will be building the string and I have taken a global result which will be storing the result. Once I am done uh, finding the number which is not present in the number set then I'll be returning the result. So let's go to the recursion call. Here the numbers set will be sent with the current string and the size of the entire number set right which is n. So if while building in the recursion tree if you have reached to the current size of the string equals n then you have to find out if it is present in the set or not if it is not present in the set you save your result with the current string and return true and no need to solve any further but if it is actually present then you have to return a false that you are not able to find a unique string which is not present in the number set other than that if you are at any internal node in the recursion tree diagram then you can try either zero or one if you have to try zero place a zero at the end and call the recursion uh, call for, for further child nodes that means for the next position isn't it and if you get a true then you return a true but if you get a false then you have to remove this zero from the end and replace it with one here and then again you try the same thing out and if you get a true as the return value return true if you get a false then you return false right so this is the simple code and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you